Hi, this is Dave Coombs from Physiologic. Today I'm going to be talking about metabolic testing, how it can help improve your athletic performance, improve your weight loss, and live a generally healthier, more active lifestyle. Let's get started. Metabolic efficiency testing uses a technique known as indirect calorimetry to measure your unique metabolic profile. We often think of metabolism as how well you burn calories. We think of people as having a fast or a slow metabolism. This is part of the picture, but the testing that we do allows us to see much, much more than this. This is our metabolic testing station. When you undertake a test, you wear a soft neoprene mask, and then the composition of your exhaled air is analyzed. We look at specifically the composition of oxygen to carbon dioxide in that exhaled air, as well as other measures such as your respiratory rate. And from this, we're able to build up a picture of your unique metabolic profile. The first test we do is a resting test. This takes about 20 minutes and involves literally being at rest. You will lay or sit in a quiet room on a comfortable bed and do nothing for the duration of the test. This is most people's favorite part. From your resting test, we can ascertain two key things. The first is how many calories you burn at rest, otherwise known as your resting energy expenditure, REE, or resting metabolic rate. We start by working out what your ideal REE is and then seeing how this compares to your actual REE and whether it is higher or lower than predicted. There can be various reasons for this to be different to predicted. For example, it is common to see a low resting energy expenditure in people who have repeatedly attempted to lose weight with prolonged periods of low calorie intake, long-term dieters. The second thing we measure is the ratio of your resting calorie consumption that is made up of fats and carbohydrates. We have two main fuels stored in our bodies, fats and carbohydrates. At any given time, we use both of these fuels in different proportions. Ideally, we should be getting 70% of our resting fuel from fats. If you aren't hitting these numbers, there can be various reasons. For example, not getting adequate recovery from your training. The second test we do is an exercise test, which is usually done on a treadmill, but we can also do it on a stationary bike. This is a ramp test, meaning that the test starts easy and gradually ramps up in intensity throughout the course of the test. The test itself usually takes about 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the test, you'll push all the way to your VO2 max. And in fact, this test is sometimes called a VO2 max test. Although the information that we gain from the test will give you much more than simply your VO2 max, as we'll see later. From your exercise test, we can glean two key pieces of information. As for the resting test, we can see the proportions of fats and carbohydrates you burn. With the exercise test, we can see how this changes as the intensity of exercise changes. In general, most people, besides elite endurance athletes, will burn less fat as the intensity of exercise increases. This can be a problem if you are trying to maximize your fat burning, for example, to lose weight or for endurance performance, because you don't know whether you are burning fat or not at a particular exercise intensity. A lot of people end up exercising and training at intensities where they are burning a lot of calories, but not much fat, not ideal. In this graph, you can see that this person burns the most fat between a heart rate of 144 and 151 beats per minute. And at above a heart rate of 168, they actually cease being able to metabolize fat altogether. This is key information if you are training to lose weight or optimize your athletic performance. The second key thing we measure are your heart rate training zones. From the test, we can ascertain your first and second ventilatory thresholds. These are important training markers, equivalent to your aerobic and anaerobic thresholds. Effective endurance training hinges on knowing these thresholds and the heart rate zones associated with them. This test 
gives you those exact numbers to enable you to train more effectively. These numbers can be vastly different, even for people who are the same age, gender, height and weight, and really highlight how unique each of our metabolisms is and how knowing our own personal numbers is the key to getting good lasting results in weight loss, health and athletic performance. Once you've completed your test and your results have been analysed, we will sit down with you and discuss your results and how you can implement them into your training and lifestyle. Your results will also be shared with any other professionals involved in your care, such as your GP, dietitian, nutritionist or coach. So for more information, please check out our webpage and please get in touch at Physiologic. Thanks a lot.